What's up, friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, we're gonna be going through what is in my everyday makeup bag, summertime edition. You guys know I test and review so much luxury beauty on this channel every single week, and this series, which I now do seasonally, focuses on those everyday, little bit more neutral, extremely wearable, holy grail favorites for the particular season. And since it is now summertime, at least where I live, these are gonna be the products that give me just those summertime feels, okay? Whether it be the color, the finish, the texture, the formulation. These have been my recent favorites. So if you want to hang out with me today and hear about what is in my everyday makeup bag for the summertime, then keep watching. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to talk about these products in the order that I usually put them on my face. I'm really excited for this one, by the way, because you guys know I love summertime. I love hot weather and I love summery makeup as well. The first product that I'm going to chat about is something that I use mostly as a primer or if I'm not really wearing much makeup for the day, it's you guessed it, the RMS Super Natural Radiant Serum, but specifically in the shade Medium Aura. This is the one that I usually turn to when it starts to get a little bit warmer outside. I would say, you know, if you've watched my liquid bronzer guide video, I told you guys, I really like this product more than some of the other ones that are out on the market, like the Drunk Elephant D Bronzy and the Cali Ray one, because this one, not only is it a little bit more pigmented, but the tone of it, at least I think is very flattering for fair skin tones. If you were looking for something that didn't make your skin look muddy, it actually just gave it a really beautiful, more natural bronze glow. This is going to be great. So I usually use this more so as like a primer and then I'll pair it with a lighter type of foundation. The other thing that I really like about this one and why I think it is particularly good for the summertime is because it has the SPF 30. I do like the fact that this has the SPF because I need all the SPF that I can get, let's be real. In terms of base products, I just cannot stop using the Boy Day Chanel. I know I sound like a broken record, but seriously, this is one of the best foundations I have ever tried. It is pigmented, like you can get medium coverage very easily, which I enjoy because I do have some hyperpigmentation, but it is so light and silky on the skin. It's not too dewy. It's not too matte. It's very hydrating. It's kind of like the water fresh tint or the water fresh touch where you have kind of like a serum base and then the pigment. But there's something about the ratios with this where it just works so much better on my skin. Personally, I like this a lot more than the the Water Fresh Touch. If you've never heard of this foundation, it's marketed towards men. That's why it's called the Boy de Chanel. There's not that many shades, which really makes me angry because <laughs> it's one of the best foundations I have ever tried. I really wish I would have tested this before I filmed my top five foundations video because I think that this would be in there. It's so beautiful, I think for year round, but I specifically like this for the summertime because it is so lightweight. I do like to have a little bit more coverage most of the time. Like if I'm actually going out and I want to look my best. I want a little bit more coverage. I love this so much, guys. Like if you haven't tried it, if it's within your budget for this summer, definitely give it a try. Something that I always get into during the summer, just because it's so effortless and easy, are stick foundations. And my favorite one is definitely this one from Tom Ford. I've tried so many, but the traceless foundation stick, like you just can't beat this stuff. This is what I have on my face today. And like I said, it's so easy. It's so blendable. I I have dry skin and I like that this adds some hydration, but it never looks sticky or slimy or greasy on my face either if I'm outside in the heat. The only thing that I'm worried about, friends, is that I've noticed this is out of stock in many, many places, so it worries me. Comment down below, are they reformulating this? Are they just sold out because it's so popular? I don't know. I've had trouble finding my shade, which is 0.5 porcelain. So I, I don't know, I haven't been recommending this as much because I just don't see it in stock. But if you know anything, let me know. This is another one of my favorite foundations of all time. And I love that it comes in this very easy, quick, lazy girl type of format. And by the way, if you happen to be enjoying this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Sophia. Welcome to my channel that is all about having fun with luxury beauty. I do a lot of fun videos just like this one, lots of new makeup reviews, and also some commentary videos where we talk about the luxury beauty industry. So if that interests you, hit 
that subscribe button to join our fam. We seriously would love to have you. And as a quick reminder, I will link all these products down below along with all the shades and everything that I'm mentioning. So you guys can check that out afterwards. If I want something super, super light coverage, if I'm not really going to be wearing that much makeup or, you know, maybe I'm just like running errands. It's a very everyday makeup bag. Then I will go for the Chanel water fresh tint. The shade that I use is called medium light. I usually go a little bit deeper with this range just because it's so sheer. I like to add a little bit like more warmth to my skin. I don't want it to make me uh, look kind of pale or washed out if that makes sense. So I usually go a little bit darker with this one. You guys know this is like a Chanel classic, okay? It's so lightweight. It's so fresh. I really like the texture of this. It's not so much about the pigment as it is about the blurring and the beautiful dewy but non-greasy sheen that this product gives. If you are new here, if you've literally never heard of this product, maybe you're just getting into luxury beauty. This is basically kind of like a skincare serum. And then there's little droplets of pigment inside the serum that are just kind of suspended there. And when you actually buff it into the skin, those little globs of the pigment, they will burst and they will kind of, you know, blend onto your skin and just give you a very, very slight, beautiful coverage. So this is the thing that I usually reach for if I just want, you know, like a kiss of something. And then if I have something that I really want to cover up, I will go in with my concealer. And the two concealers that have been my everyday to no one's surprise have been number one, the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Concealer. I got this in a new shade. The old shade that I had was good. I think it was 2.5. I got it in shade four. And I actually think that this one works even better for my skin. I just can't put it down. I love how glowy this is. If you have dark circles like me, this is a game changer because it just makes me look so awake. I don't really like to use this on my blemishes or anything like that just because it is so, it's like borderline shimmery. It has a lot of light reflecting particles in it, but I have another concealer that I've been using for that. This is an old favorite. It is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I have this in two shades. I have vanilla, which is a little bit lighter. I would say maybe a little bit more true to my skin tone. And then I also have it in Madeline, which is kind of more of the shade that my skin is after I apply my makeup, my bronzer, etc. This is what I've been using for any little bits of hyperpigmentation, for blemishes, you name it. Anything that I need to cover up, I will go in with this if it's not my under eyes. And I love this because it's soft matte. It stays in place. It's very long lasting. So if like I'm sweating or whatever, I know I'm good. And because it's matte, it's not highlighting those little blemishes. Like, I don't know, I have a little bit of eczema or something that popped up here this morning. And I just took my little brush dipped into this and lightly dabbed it on. And I feel like it does a great job concealing it for the most part. This is really good in the summertime just because it's creamy. It's not cakey, but it's got that matte texture. You guys know I don't use a ton of setting powder in my everyday makeup routine, but in the summertime, it is nice to have a little bit of powder, especially kind of around the T-zone area or where, you know, where I might get a little bit oily or sweaty, etc. And this is actually a recent favorite of mine. You guys said you wanted me to review this, so I have been giving it a try. This is the new RMS Hydra setting powder. This is going to be a loose powder. So when you open it up, you have the little powder puff right here. And then when you open up this little chamber, you've got the powder. This is so silky smooth, so finely milled. And what I also really like about this is that it does have a lot of light reflecting particles in it, just like the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Concealer, just like the RMS Supernatural Radiance Serum. This does a great job of setting my makeup and giving me like a little bit more longevity. But I also like that because it blurs a little bit, I can use it to sort of set this tear duct region where, you know, it's kind of like the deepest of my dark circles. I can put it on my nose and it just, I don't know, just does a beautiful job blurring my face. I wore this the other day and somebody in a boutique told me, <laughs> told me that my skin looked really good. And I also went for a walk yesterday in like 95 degree heat. I was walking around for over an hour and I thought my makeup looked great at the end. In fact, I came back and filmed a video wearing that makeup and I thought it looked great. So I really do feel like this helps extend the longevity, especially if I'm going to be wearing, you know, more like cream products. So yeah, I would say that this is a good powder. This is like a new everyday staple for me. I also have right here two awesome face palettes that I've really been enjoying. One of them is powder and one of them is cream. The powder one is this one from the Chanel Le Beige collection. This one is medium coral. I know everybody 
everybody's been going crazy over the light coral and that one keeps selling out. But I like the medium coral because it's really not that much deeper, guys. And you get this beautiful, more vibrant coral blush. I don't know. I love it. I love being able to dip into all three of these. I know that these are very expensive, but it is a really good everyday makeup product. The texture of these powders is so, so silky. I love the way that they look on my skin. And this highlighter, it's very elegant. It's a little bit more subtle. It's not super glowy. So again, really, really good for every day. If you're just getting ready for work in the morning, something like that, it's just like a really good summertime staple. And then the other one is this new Makeup Forever palette that I've been demoing for you guys. This is such a perfect little everyday staple because you have so much in one little palette. If you have to get ready at the gym, you know, in your car, at your office, like at school, I don't even know. Like if you just have to get ready on the go, you have everything that you need. You have concealer, you have face product you could use as foundation. You have a contour, a bronzer. You have four blushes and two cream highlighters. And if you have a deeper skin tone, this does come in a deeper version. This is such a good formula. And it's also very long lasting because I was a little bit worried that maybe I, I've never tried any of these from Makeup Forever. I didn't know if they were going to be like greasy or oily, you know, kind of like that coconut oil type of texture, but they're not. They're very long lasting. They're really fun to kind of mix together and, you know, create your own blush shade on the go. I've really been enjoying this. This is awesome. Whether I'm going to wear like a full face of makeup or just a little bit of makeup. I do, however, have some single bronzer favorites to share with you. And like I said, I really like the stick format for the summertime, just so easy and portable. And I love the ones from Rare Beauty, specifically this one, which is called Bright Side. This is the one that is more neutral out of the range because when she first launched them, I will say they were very, very warm, so I didn't pick them up. Then she came out with this shade and I was like, okay, now we're talking. This is so creamy, so blendable. If you're looking for a nice kind of luxurious but still reasonably priced cream bronzer. This is a really, really good one. You guys can see from the demo, it's just so, so effortless to apply. Because this one is a little bit more neutral, you'll notice I like to use it more as like a bronzer to kind of like sculpt the face. And then a lot of you guys know I did that video, Best Bronzers for Fair Skin, and those focus specifically on powder bronzers, okay? And ever since I did that video, I have fallen back in love with the Victoria Beck um, bronzing bricks and specifically the one I've been using for this summertime has been shade 01. I just like how beautiful and subtle this lighter shade is and then this one is great for contouring. So easy to have a little bit of a two-in-one and you know if I want a little bit more longevity out of my makeup I probably won't use a lot of cream products. I'll probably dip into more powder products to set my makeup and because this formulation is matte it does a really good job at setting my makeup makeup, even if it's like a skin tint, something more glowy, I put this on top and I feel like it just lasts a little bit longer if I'm going to be out in the heat. I have three everyday blush favorites to share with you and one of them I think you're going to be pretty surprised by. But first, one that I don't think you're going to be surprised by, it is the Chanel Water Fresh Blush, okay? If I'm going to be using the Chanel Water Fresh tint, I got to top it with one of the blushes. These just give the most beautiful, sheer, kind of juicy watercolor effect to the skin and just like the Water Fresh tint, they're not slimy or oily. In fact, I would say that these are some of the most comfortable liquid blushes that I own. And personally, I get a lot of longevity from these also. They're gonna be more sheer and kind of watery compared to maybe like the Rare Beauty liquid blushes, for example. I just love them. There's something very, very summery about this formulation and this finish. Oh, I just, I can't get enough of them. The one that I use the most is called Deep Bronze which seems kind of surprising because it's like kind of a deeper shade, but I like to use it almost like a liquid bronzer that has a little bit of like a reddish undertone to it. So it really gives you that sort of almost tan, slightly sunburnt type of effect. The other one that I don't think you're going to be surprised by is this new one from Kosas. All the colors that I've gotten, I have three of them so far, are really beautiful. But the one that I reach for the most, the one that's like on my everyday makeup vanity is this one 
one, which is called Dreamland. It is just the most perfect, sort of neutral, but slightly rosy everyday blush. These are gonna be a little bit glowy, but they're not as glowy as the RMS. They're not as glowy as those like new rare beauty ones that are like basically highlighters. I love all of them, but this is great for every day. And I told you guys in the review that I did of these, these are a very good sort of more affordable option to the hourglass blushes. And as well, hourglass, I wish that they had more shades, okay? I wish that they had more pigmented shades. I wish that they had more neutral shades. I love them, but I like the fact that I now sort of have a more neutral option that gives me a very similar look. Okay, and the one that I think you're gonna be pretty surprised by is none other than the Dior Backstage Bronzed Glow. Okay, when I reviewed this, I was telling you, I didn't really think it was worth the money. I don't like the reformulated versions. I felt like it was a little patchy. I felt like it was a little bit hard to blend. And then I started using it like pretty much every day because I just really like the color of this. And because it does have a little bit of that, what is it, red 27 pigment that gives it like the, the color changing, it doesn't look like this when it goes on the cheeks. This is what I have on my cheeks today, by the way. It looks like this, okay? It looks a little bit rosier. It is a rosy glow blush. And I think once I found the brushes that worked better for this formulation, I got over the fact that it's a little bit harder to blend than the original formulation. I just really, really like the color. I do wish that they didn't reformulate these, but I really like the color. I can't, I, I have to be honest, I've literally been using this, <laughs> literally been using this so, so much. This is a new favorite. I might actually take this on vacation with me because I like it so much. Similarly for highlighters, I have one favorite that's a cream formulation and one favorite that is a powder formulation. The cream formulation favorite is definitely these Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Low Lighters. I love these for so many reasons. I think they're perfect for the summertime. Number one, because they're not too greasy and dewy. Like they really have good staying power. You can see I've got one on my face right now. Does it look greasy or dewy? It's almost like they dry down to kind of like a powdery finish. So great if you're going to be outside and maybe you know, sweating a little bit in the heat. The other thing that I really like about these is that if you wear them on their own, it's almost like a blush and highlighter two in one. It's kind of like a combo. I don't feel like I have to then put on more highlighter or then put on more blush. I really like how they look just on their own. And a lot of times in the summertime, that's nice to not have to do one extra product, just have something that's very minimal, very glowy as well. And the two colors that I picked out, this one is low key. This is what I have on my cheeks today. And what's the other one called? Unbothered. I always forget the names. These are really good, very wearable, very neutral. And they're really not too crazy in terms of highlighter. I think that they're perfect for every day. And the other one, the powder formulation, is this one from Dolce & Gabbana. I showed you guys, I think it was in my Dolce & Gabbana brand review. This is very similar to the Chanel Camellia highlighter. It is just a little bit less pink, but it's got that smoothness, the subtle glow. Oh, it's such a beautiful highlighter. So this is another highlighter that I've just kind of had, you know, pretty much displayed on my vanity because it also has really cute packaging. And if I just need a quick highlight that goes with every single look for every day, this is what I will reach for. Next, we need to talk about eyeshadows. The one that I'm wearing on my eyes today is this new one from YSL. They came out with four new shades and this one is called Over Orange. This is the one that for me is the most everyday. They're all neutral. In fact, I think all of those except maybe the smoky eye one are probably really great for every day, just depending on your preferences. But you guys know I love warm tones and I love a fun pop of coral. I like that this palette has these three shades that are very, very simple, but one of them is this gorgeous topper shade, which you can see right here, just adds such beautiful brightness and a little bit of glitter, a little bit of freshness. And then I am really, really fond of corals. And I don't think it looks too much. I feel like these shadows, because the texture is so soft, a little bit buttery, it looks very elegant on the eyes. Very similar color story, but just more colors to play around with. I also just love the warm essentials from Dior. I know, I'm sorry. I know I keep talking about a lot of the same stuff, but it just, it just goes to show that these are my 
everyday favorites. I reach for this all the time, especially when I'm in a rush to get ready, which is like very often, okay? <laughs> okay? I'm always trying to fit in like another video or another piece of work or chore or something like that. Comment down below if you're the same way. And this is that palette that saves me when I'm running late because it's just, there's so many easy to use colors. And for me, orange and coral are easy to use. As you can see, like it's just a little pop, just a little something there. It takes me two seconds to do, but this is great for travel as well. Cause if you want the option of going maybe less every day, maybe more like evening, you're going out to dinner. This is good for that too. So I really like the versatility of this palette. This next one I told you was going to be an everyday favorite and it definitely, definitely is, especially in the summertime. It's the Natasha Denona Golden Palette. Is it the most groundbreaking palette that Natasha Denona has ever made? No, it's not. It's not the most artistic. It's not even the one that I have the most fun using, but is it my everyday? Yes, it is. I absolutely love it. I did such a beautiful look the other day. I think I used Hana and then I just topped it with Fizzy, which is this very light kind of sort of wet effect shadow. Oh, take a look at that. And then I think I put teak right here, just like a little bit to sculpt the eye. So boring, but so beautiful. And you're really getting some of the best of the best in terms of formulation here. And that's what I deserve for every day. And then the last palette favorite that I have is this one right here from Issa. I don't know if I've used this on my channel before, but I really like to use this in my own day to day off camera. This is from Issa and this is the Harmony palette. I love this one because well, number one, the formulas of the Issa palettes are so good, whether it's the shimmer or the all matte. I really like this one for summertime because it just reminds me of a sunset. Like all the colors in here are the kinds of things that I like to dip into for the summer. You've got these more warmer browns here. Maybe these are a little bit more neutral. You have these beautiful pinks. You have lilacs, which is a really popular color for this here. And then you kind of have like some softer roses. So if I want to do an all matte look or just, I don't know, like I just need that one color to maybe go with a single shadow. I really enjoy enjoy these and the formulation, like I said, really good. This is more of like a pro palette, but you know, compared to like the makeup by Mario Max and a lot of the other all matte palettes out there, this is definitely the best formula that I've tried. But if I'm going to go real simple for the summertime, there is nothing like a single shadow. And the one that is, I know so boring, but I've been using it literally every day for a lot of my videos where I don't have to do an eyeshadow demo. It is this one from Dior. This is one of the new ones they came out with. This one is called Tool, and it is just a basic light champagne satin shade, but this is just so flattering on my skin tone. Perfect shade if I want to go a little bit more bold with my blush, which is always fun to do for summer, you know, maybe kind of just like a bare eye and then like a coral blush or something like that. So this one I've gotten a lot of use out of, even though it's like the most boring color. But if I'm going to go for something kind of more of like a easy evening look, I will definitely dip into this one from Surat. This is their Prismatic Eyes. I recently did a full review of pretty much every single product that Surat sells. Very, very honest review. Okay, I shared with you guys the products that I didn't really like and the products that I really like. This is one of the products that I really like, okay? So this product comes with a little cream pomade on this part of the component, and then you slide this open and you get this gorgeous topper shade. And this is the more neutral one that I own. I have a green one as well well, which I really, really like. But again, this one's like a little more everyday, like more neutral. It's so easy to use. It's so long wearing as well. Again, summertime, I like things that are more long wearing. They're going to stay put. And the cream here is a little bit drier, so it does not crease. It's almost like a primer. And then the glitter, the topper shade really, really sticks to the pomade. It's just, these are so good. I need to get more of the shades. Honestly, I wish that they have more shades. It seems like they used to have more that were kind of in more of like that everyday neutral category, but I don't see them on the website anymore. So Sarah, if you're watching, please relaunch the more neutral options. And then surprise, surprise for mascara, it is the Surat Noir Lash Tint because this just gives the most beautiful, this is what I have on my lashes right now, the most beautiful, natural, fluttery, clump-free 
lashes. I love this super cool wand. It's just like a little metal rod. There's no actual brush. And believe it or not, it, it works really well. It makes it really easy to layer onto the lashes. I thought it was gonna be basically nothing because it's called the lash tint. But as you can see, like I feel like I have a decent amount of very natural length and volume. But I would say the main reason that this goes into my everyday for the summertime is because it is so long lasting. Like if I'm sweating, if I'm doing a workout, anything, like it just stays on the lashes. And this is really great as well if you're gonna be by the pool because it's essentially waterproof, but it's not difficult to remove with makeup remover. It is so, so good. So for lip products, at least for every day, I definitely reach for colors that are a little bit more neutral and formulations that are pretty effortless. I've really, really been liking, and this shouldn't be a surprise because I loved the YSL Rouge Volupte shines, but I do like the reformulated version, the Love Shine lipsticks. This is in the color Caramel Swirl. That's so good. It's very close to Burnt Zelige, which was the Rouge Volupte Shine version. And I'm really glad because that was my favorite one. And this one is very, very close. So I should probably finish that one up first and then dip into Caramel Swirl. The Caramel Swirl has definitely been a favorite. I also really, really like the Bronzed Glow Lip Maximizer from Dior. I like I liked the whole bronzed glow collection, okay? It was made for me, so surprise, surprise, it's in this video. Every time I show it to you, I have to go get it out of my handbag because it's always there in addition to one of the YSL Love Shine lipsticks. I'm always popping this on my lips. If it's gonna be a little bit windy, maybe I'll skip this one because I don't want my hair getting stuck <laughs> in my lip gloss, but for a lip gloss moment, this one is perfect. And then in terms of lipstick lipsticks, things that have a little bit more pigmentation, I'm going going for the products that, again, they're a little bit more effortless, not something that I really need like a lip liner or even a mirror for. And the two that I've really been liking here from the Merit line, the matte line, that is our number one Antibes. So that's what this looks like. It's almost like the matte version of the Caramel Swirl. And then the other one that I have here is called Court. And this one is a little bit more vibrant. It's kind of a beautiful coral shade. And finally, you guys know I love the Queen Lucia lipsticks. If they hadn't sent me one of these, I would have never known about this brand. And now I have every single shade. Now these are gonna be a little bit more pigmented and creamier than the Merit ones. And they're not as satin as the Makeup by Mario ones, because you guys know I love all of those. These are the two that are great, I think, for every day, at least for me. This one is called Dorian. That is a beautiful pink. So if you're not into these, you know, warm tone shades that I really like, this one is good because it's more, you know, like a classic rose. And then I also really like Molly Bloom. I love the deeper shades as well, but once again, this is more of a like slap it on the lips and go type of situation. So that is more of like a warm, slightly corally, nude. So pretty. Mm, I almost forgot what I'm wearing on my lips today. This is from Edem. This is the Le Chouchou Lip Softening Balm. And this has been my go-to for just kind of like an easy lip balm, lip treatment. It's tinted. It has a nice light fruity scent. And this is also going to have one of those really nice kind of cooling, smooth, luxurious metal applicators. I definitely like this formula a lot more than the Summer Fridays ones because this is a little bit thicker and more occlusive. It's slightly waxier. Still gives some shine, you know, not like a ton of shine, but I just like the fact that it stays on my lips really well. Feels very luxurious. Feels like a lip treatment as opposed to like a lip gloss. It's definitely my favorite one in this category. So this has also been kind of just, you know, what I've been popping on my lips when I sit down to film or just to run out the door. And finally, to close things out, I thought I would share with you a summertime fragrance favorite. I've mentioned a couple of them here on my channel. Two of my newer fragrances fragrances that I've been liking for the summer are the Chanel Comet, the Tom Ford Mandarino D'Amalfi, but I wanted to mention one that I haven't called out on my channel recently, and it's this one from Aqua de Parma. This is from the Blue Mediterraneo line. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. And this one is Pico D'Amalfi. So this is going to be a fig 
inspired type of perfume, but this is not going to be fig in the sense that it's going to be super fruity. It doesn't smell like the fruit as much. It doesn't smell like fig candy or fig jam or anything like that. This is super light and wearable for every day. I'm going to read the fragrance notes for you here from the internet. The top notes are grapefruit, bergamot, citron, and lemon. So you get a little bit of citrus when you first spray it. And then the middle notes are fig nectar, jasmine, and pink pepper. Okay, so you get a little bit of that fig fruit, but it's balanced with the white flowers of jasmine. And then the base notes are fig tree, cedar, and benzoin. So you get a little bit of woodiness at the base. It's very light. Like I said, beautiful for every day. I like the fact that this doesn't smell just like fruit. It smells like the fig leaf. Like when the sun hits the fig tree, it lets out the most, I think, amazing summertime smell. You do smell a little bit of that fruit, but it's like a green scent. And if you like something that's a little bit green, a little bit refreshing from the citrus, but you also kind of get like that fig scent, of, of course, then I think you're really going to like this. My mom recently came to visit me and every single day when we got ready in the morning, she would go to my fragrances and like shop around and pick a fragrance for the day. And she, she was like, this one is so, so good. It's so good for summer. So she really likes this one too. And that is it. Those are all of my makeup favorites for the summertime season. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what do you think of my favorites, but also what are some of your everyday summer staples? What is in your everyday makeup bag? I would love to know. Subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, friends, I hope that you see some beauty in your day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.